Hey folks, this is Bob at Bob's Classic Cars and Parts, and look at what I have found you here today. We got a 1932 Chevrolet fire truck, folks. Good lord, can you have you ever? I've never seen one of these. Now, this is the company that built the truck right here. P I R S C H Persh Fire Equipment. Peter first, I think that says Kenosha, Kenosha, Wisconsin. And I guess that's the date of manufacture, 12, 17, or 31. How about that, folks? Yeah, we can't start it up for you today. Uh, it does not currently run, but it, he says he's had it running. But uh, and I don't want to put him through the trouble of trying to get it running today. He's got a little, he's got to put a battery in it, prime it and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, it, oh, you want to try to get it running? Mm -hmm. Really? Well, uh, go ahead. You want to get a jump, jump box? Okay, I'll, I'll do the video. And when you get back to the jump box, we'll see if it'll fire up. He's going to try to get it running for us, folks. How about that? We got to thank him for that. His name's Jay. He's going to try to get this thing running. He said, he said he just put a set of coker tires on. So obviously it must run if he, he spent money for a set of coker tires. They're not... Those are high quality tires. That ain't some old cheap crap. Now, I don't think this light bar went with it, folks. Now, I'm being facetious, okay? <laughs> okay. I, I joke around on the channel. A lot of times people get on me about that, but you got to understand my personality. I'm all about having fun. Check this thing out, though. How, how good a shape it's in. My goodness. Engine number two. Man, this is all right. Oops, got a spider web on me here. Let me get you guys a good look at what we have for an instrument cluster or a gauge panel, I guess it would be. We came up here to actually buy some parts and we have videoed an old Dodge Wrecker, now this old fire truck. And we got a Thunderbird right here we're gonna get here next. Didn't realize we were going to get into all this. Here he comes with the battery, folks. That is a cool fire truck. My goodness. What uh, what city did this fire truck uh, use this fire truck, Jay? I think it's Burlington. Burlington? Burlington, North Carolina? Okay. I think that's something else. We're going to make Steve work the hand crank if we don't start up. This thing, these folks right here, Dusty's Record Service. This is where I'm at, folks. These are nice people. If you're, if you're in the Raleigh-Durham area and you have car problems, call these guys. They'll tell you. I'm going to keep on videoing folks while they're trying to get her started up here. Nineteen thirty-two Chevrolet fire truck. Here we go. He's going to start her up.
stuff on it because if it was raining you didn't need the fire department, right? Check this out, guys. Classic cars and parts. I continue to bring you some of the coolest darn things. And you know why? It's simple, folks. I get out and I meet people. And I talk to people and I'm friendly with people. That's all you got to do. Simple as that. Enjoy the cars. Enjoy the, the people. Enjoy the hobby. Alright folks, we're going to turn the video off and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel. I want to thank Jay here for showing me this and uh, Dusty's Towing Service, Rougemont, North Carolina, north of Raleigh and north of Durham. If you have any kind of issues with your car, you need to be towed. These guys, these are cool cats folks, I'm telling you. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video. Please share this video. We want everyone to enjoy this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do this old thunder chicken over here next. Y'all take care.